Hello everybody, how's it going? Haxus here. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the channel. So, I know I'm sorry because I've been delayed to post another Minecraft content video about M Creator, but I'm here. So let's go. Let's do it. Uh, I recorded this video before, but it didn't went well. So I'm recording it again. And this time I will try to speak slowly and clearly because uh, the subtitles seems that actually seems that I don't speak English very good, but this is well known. But anyway, let's go. Let's create uh, a biome. And how does this thing work here? Because Minecraft since 1.18 changed the way that terrain generations works. So now we have more complex system. So also the M creator changed the way that deals with biomes. Now we don't have so much freedom. I don't know if I can use this world word, but we don't have this much freedom as we used to have in the older versions. But we do have some nice features and I will show along the video. So let's go. When you have your M created open it, you're going to click in the plus sign and bring here to beyond. Let's go. Test one and create new beyond. So here, the, a very interesting thing in the M creator is that he helps you with a lot of things. As I read, told you guys in the few videos early in the mobs I think you can check everything here to see what it does and if you click the link the internet page of M creators details for biomes will open for you and you can check out every part of the biome generation but in this case this is pretty intuitive the climate temper temperature and downfall possibility this will help the game decide where it will be generated okay in this case this here is like the default planes i will leave like this just for the sake of the video here you can see that i'm changing the color of things and is it, it is like the name said i'm changing the color of those very on things and i'm choosing some very fantasy colors just for us to be able to see our biome okay here is the most important part okay when you're creating a biome the surface builder okay this is pretty straightforward but one thing let me select here i selected grass okay what's going to happen grass blocks in this biome will have this pinkish color okay but if you pick up this block from this biome that is pinkish it put in another biome the color will become normal green okay because it's just in the biome the color of the grass block changes okay so in this case the surface builder will be i like to use stone but in this case i will use diorite just for us to see the difference and the first block uh, the surface block underwater I will set to uh, let me polish granite why not right so let me explain something to you those three first features like temperature humidity and contentless rage I don't know how to say this do not think this is like uh, one separate thing because all these, uh, what can I say, features, yes, that's the word, will help you create your beyond. In this case, this is the, all of them go to minus two till two, okay, but if you use two high values, this may not work properly, okay? You have to find the balance in every little number count, okay? For example, if I use zero, 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 you see the, the the surface coverage change 
let's use this one here let's go here to two oh yeah the erosion haze age is range range it's uh how much erosion that will be you have to find a sweet spot to make some cliffs also some ravines because it's not uh exactly science let's say like this it's very uh, it is but um because we are dealing with numbers it's very difficult to point exactly what are the numbers to do what you want to do so you have to go in experimentations just like create science okay so i will just move a little bit here things minus three okay uh, point eight boom yeah, i think this is good five point oh this beam shows a lot you can select to be generating the overworld or not to be under nether the overall in caves and a cave biomes or in the nether in this case i will leave it quite simple if you deselect all of those you have to choose another dimension to use it or something okay overworld nice features it's what the name says features you have a bunch of fancy features I will use the lush cave decoration just because I like it. In three per chunks, I will select six per chunks. In the default shapes, you have those types here. I will choose big trees because I like them. One other thing, you can choose a custom, then you can select the leaves, the branches, the logs for those trees. In this case, I will leave like this but you can try it yourself you see that is very fun to mess with structures there is a few structures that you can use in your biome from the game from default in this case i will use the bastion and some desert villages i think just this here just for us to see okay and maybe some ruined portals from the nether just for us to see it. Very important. If you don't set an entity to spawn in your biome, nothing will spawn there. So you have to add. For example, if you want a chicken, you have to select chicken as creatures. Okay, not ambient, not monster, creatures. The set one i think one z is good enough again you have to find the balance like some fish uh tropical fish in the water also creatures if you set this to ambient you will have so much mobs that your game will crash probably because minecraft crash all the fancy gamers pcs that you if you have the NASA PC, if you put Minecraft, you can crash that. I believe I, I'm not. I don't doubt that. So, in the last tab is the effect tab. Here you can set music, ambient sounds, adding sounds, and it all has a description here, okay, in what it does. In this case, I will just set some ash particles here for us to see, okay. And I think this is it. I don't change it too much for just for us to see. But this is pretty easy in a way. The big point here is you to find out the sweet spot for your biome. You have to go like experimenting. If you want it close to the ocean, more inland. You have all the documentations as well here in the Amy Creators Week, the Beyond page. It helped me a lot and I think it will help you as well. So in this case, let's save it and it's test one. Let's try. Let me just delete this one here. Otherwise, it will appear in your game. Let's try it out to see if everything is working. In what kind of Beyond did we get? 
from those configurations, shall we? So in this case, let's go. So there you go, the game is open. Let's create a new world and see if we can find if we can find our biome. Okay, I think that will be quite easy. See, because it's in a very good shape. So there you go. Our beautiful yellow big trees with our purple grass blocks. See, if I put them here, they get purple. But in, in the my hand, you can see they, that they are green, like, like normal. Oh, I like how this turned out. Very, very fantasy. I like it. Mm, mm, mm. Yes. Think it? It gave me an idea for a new biome. Oh, and there you go. We find already our bastion. Remnant bastion. Okay. You have here the piglins. But, yeah, they become zombie piglins. Because this is what happened. And our desert villages in the biome as well. So, as you can see, everything is working pretty good. Let's see if we can find some... Okay, they have some pigs here because of the the village. But there we go, our chickens. Hello, chickens. Chicken in the corn. And this is it. We managed to get our first biome working. So, hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any particular question about biomes, let me know in the comments. Because like in this way, I can help you more precisely. And maybe make a video about this specifically okay i think about create one make a video about um dimensions don't know what you guys think let me know thank you so much and see you in the next video bye bye